All right. <laughs> All right. Introducing our guest for today. He's one of my longtime friends since high school. Uh, this is Brandon Ramirez of York University Lions basketball team. What's, up, what's, what's up? good, bro? How you doing? What's up, man? Good, bro, you? Awesome here. <laughs> Yo, I don't, there you go. I didn't think of giving props to our guests like that. Yeah, that yeah. should be a new thing, huh? Yeah. All right, go ahead. No, yo, how are you, how are you doing? How's, how's school and everything? Oh, that's great, man. You know, uh, second year, you know, I finally made that transition into university. Right. You know, so I'm kind of like almost settled in and finally feeling comfortable. So mm -hmm. like when, when during your um, younger ages, when was basketball your sport? Like oh, instead man. of like volleyball or soccer? Like mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot, I know a lot in the Filipino, uh, Filipino community, like they start off young, like six, four. Like I started when I was like, nine ten years old you know so i was pretty late getting into basketball and like oh, both of us all of us would probably like play in the filipino leagues like every any filipino guy that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the filipino league so let's talk yeah let's talk about the filipino leagues yeah. you're a big guy how tall yeah. are you what's your what's uh, your uh six five six six, six yeah so when you started off in the filipino league what was your position what did they make you play oh first man of you know like being being a big kid growing up you know they just put you to like straight at the center you know <laughs> So all, all my life I've been playing center, you know. And then now we look at York University, talk, talk, talk about your role, I guess, there. Yeah, you know, like uh, my first year, they put me at the center, you know, it was kind of what I was used to. And then um, as I progressed in my skills, they started to put me at the guard, at the, like the three, four, you know, mm -hmm. power four, but they put me aiming, aiming me now at the two, three guard. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what do, you, what do you say are your strengths or what does your coach tell you about know your game oh it's my physicality you know like shooting is one of the big one I've just like I've just worked on for the past like year and a half mm -hmm. um, yeah, and also my finishing mm -hmm. my finishing at the basket you know like that's I guess like my coach has been telling me I have that like soft touch you know so that really helps me progress my game as a guard going mm -hmm. to the rim and also with shooting you know getting those open looks all the time yeah we could tell you you've been practicing your shots man you're, yeah. you're you, st you were January 8th OUA player of the week for the you know, you. Ontario <laughs> University League. Um, and then you've been dropping your, your career high just a few weeks ago. You yeah. been dropped 35 points. At how, yeah. Like, what was that? How, that how feel, were you feeling? Like, how, <laughs> did you know you were going to drop yeah. 35? How, do you, how did you? Nah, you know, it was just like, um, it just came to nature. You know, I was comfortable with my game. You know, I took good shots. Um, Overall, you know, it's just kind of like that feeling, you know, when you have the hot hand, you don't really feel your body. You just kind of play, you just play the game, mm -hmm. you know, you play the game and hopefully you get a win, basically, you know. Oh, well, we have a, we a have video, yeah. a video. So if you haven't seen Brandon play before, let's just look at the video and I guess we can talk about what we see. But this was a video in his high school mix. Yeah, school, we'll, we'll yeah. talk about high school, about okay. days once yeah. we play this video. Let's look at the right. mixtape. I remember, I remember this. This is the dunk of the season, you, you too. Filmed that, I, you I, I was filmed the one that, recording yeah. that. This was from the documentary uh, called the, the Come Up, where I document our high school team, Pope John Paul II. Mm. Uh, shout out to Pope John Paul. It was a long time. Yeah, man. Uh, and that's, Paul, yeah, yeah, that's when me, when me and PJ met. He, he, he met me through the Come Up through documentary. Yeah. yeah. And also through Brandon, too. So, like, we, yeah. wouldn't, we wouldn't have this crossover TV show without, you know, all three of us together. Mm. And, yeah, I remember this game as well. This is a close game. Good bucket, boy. I wanted to see that dunk again, man. The dunk in the beginning. Yeah, it was like <laughs> a, a fast break. It wasn't. It, there, there were a decent. Te nah, they weren't. They ah. weren't a good team actually. So that was a, that was a crazy dunk. That was the only in-game dunk that we had this that yeah, season. That year, yeah. I guess you had a soft touch. You're always well. You're always in in inside the key, right? You yeah. like the floater. You like the post up. The mid-range games there, but I seen I seen a, a video at uh, your queue. Their highlights. Mm -hmm. You're shooting threes. Yeah, you're shooting some I perimeter shots. I finally branched out, you know. Yeah, they're like back in high school, you used to shoot just the mid-range mm -hmm. or like yeah. even just posting up because you were the big man of our team. You're yeah. just a center, mm -hmm. and nowadays, like you're in York University, you moved out to three, and you you were, you were still scoring buckets like throughout mm -hmm. high school, and even right now, you're scoring a lot of buckets. And you had the motor. Look, you're the. Where you could have dunked that. You could have dunked that. <laughs> dunked that on someone. It's always good to dunk. Yeah, man. All right, let's talk about like your future plans. Like, oh, man, what's what's going through your mind? I know there's a lot of people that have been contacting you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like different things that are popping up. So, mm -hmm. what what do you see yourself? Oh doing? man, honestly, like it's just for me, it's just taking it time by time. You know, kind of like weighing out my options, what works for me and my family. You know, so I've right now I'm just trying to finish my degree, my undergrad. Uh, with geography and urban studies at York and then hopefully you know if I choose a school or if a school chooses me to play back home in the Philippines um, I'd, I'd take it you know I just got to see what school fits me 
what, what school will help me and my family progress the mm -hmm. lifestyle in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully one day make it pro into the Philippines or um, if not the Philippines, the Europe. Europe League would be great if I make it out there. Um, but even besides basketball, you know, like just kind of like seeing life outside of basketball is also a goal of mine as well. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, basketball, you know, I've been around that for years, but um, it's going to be a matter of time where I have to hang up the shoes yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. think about life and start something beyond basketball. And it's good that you, you, you have these conversations with yourself mm -hmm. because, well, first of all, there's a lot of kids that watch the show on, when we post on Facebook. So mm -hmm. I think it'd be good to just dive into like that student athlete life. Exactly. Like yeah. how, do, how do you deal with being a student athlete? Like, what's your... <laughs> especially, yeah. especially that transition from like when you were a student athlete during high school with that mm -hmm. workload and then now you're in university. I, I, like, I understand I'm still in college, university, mm -hmm. and that workload is still, you know, uh, up to another level. Mm -hmm. Well, being a student athlete in high school, you know, it's kind of like that normal kind of thing. You know, you, you do your classes in the morning, you have basketball practice at either before school or after school. You know, but when you get to university, you know, it's really planned out. You have to plan out your day, like from the minute you wake up. Mm -hmm. You know, like how much time is it going to take for me to get to school? You know, um, what time can I have like lunch in between classes? Yeah. You know, like. And then after that, you have practice. You have practice, you know, five days a week, and you also have to get your like your, your uh, weightlifting in. Mm. You know, so it's all about time management and knowing your priorities. You know, like, you know, if you have a game coming up and your friends ask you ask you if you want to go to a club, you know, that's not the best idea. Uh, it's mm. not. You know, so you know, you got to be game ready. Like every every day is a step for you to get better as a basketball player and a student. Mm -hmm. And that's how I take being a student athlete. At the university level. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Let's let's. I'll give you one more question before um, we end this interview. Um, you have a brother. He's mm -hmm. also yeah. really good, yeah. but also um, he's at an age where he's also developing, and maybe he wants to become a basketball later on. Yeah. What are your parting words to kids that maybe want to do what you're doing, play basketball in university, or even play basketball at a high level? Mm -hmm. So, like growing up, you know, like I didn't have that older brother to mentor me through, you know, being young as a basketball player. Um, so for my brother and for all kids of ages who are growing up and who are thinking of wanting to do basketball, you know, it's, it's a great goal. Um, but you have to consider the sacrifices and the, the responsibility it comes with being a student athlete. You know, um, it's, you just got to take your time, man. You don't want to rush into things. You know, you don't want to be regretting opportunities that, been, that have been given to you. Mm -hmm. um, and you really, it's honestly like basketball is basketball, but if you're being a student athlete, school comes first. Mm. You know, in order for you to play basketball, you got you got to do your you got you got to hit the books. Mm.